Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Hoping I can get this video done down here. The pigs haven't been fed yet. So they're being a little bit vocal right now. I'm going to turn the uh, chickens out down here onto the grass today. Uh, we've had them pinned up because we haven't uh, put up the, uh, the, the netting and the screen on the fence there. And it's not looking like we're going to be able to do that this week. Uh, but these chickens really need to be outside, outside of this pen. Uh, this is where we've had them pinned right here. They really need to get outside and uh, work uh, this grass some. Do a little foraging on their own for food. Uh, it's a healthier environment for them. Uh, scratching in the dirt which chicken, or is what chickens are supposed to do. Uh, these are from the first hatch. And as you can see, they're getting pretty big now. Uh, some of these males, like this guy right here, are pretty much eating size right now. I haven't picked one up, but I would imagine he's, uh, he's over a kilo now. Uh, that's about the size that they like to, to buy them. Uh, you can pretty easily see the, the difference between the, the roosters and the male, uh, the males and the females, the roosters and the hens, uh, because they're larger now. I always like to watch chickens, uh, just acting like chickens, scratching around. Yeah, that's a little... Uh, Nini's wanting some of this food down here too. Uh, I guess she's figured out she can bully these young ones, unlike the mother hen that keeps her straightened out. Uh, but that's a little hen right there. Right there in the middle. So those of course we'll keep, but the males uh, are going to become uh, dinner. We may keep a couple of these uh, because the breeding flock, the bleeding, the breeding flock uh, is going to be slowly growing here over the next several months, and so we'll eventually need uh, more than the four roosters that we have. This guy right here would probably be one that we would keep. Uh, I look for large comb size, uh, uniform uh, body makeup. That's a pretty good looking little rooster right there too. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a a bit of a cough and a runny nose. Uh, it's taken me, I never really felt terribly bad with this cold, but it's taken a while to get over it, and now Maricel, uh, I think I've passed it on to Maricel because she was a little sniffly last night and wasn't feeling good. I hope not. Uh, it's amazing she hasn't caught it already, but it wasn't that intense of a flu anyway. And of course the dogs are having a good time eating the chicken feed that I put out. But they'll get out here and wander around find some bugs to eat, some seeds that have come off the vegetation. Sometimes it's a good life to be a chicken. It's a good life while it lasts, I guess we could say. Wow, well, the sun has just come from behind a cloud. You really notice the sun here, it's intense when it hits you. It's been cloudy here for several days, raining off and on. And you're getting no complaints from me about the weather. Nini loves her chicken feed. I don't know how good it is for her, but I'm not going to try to keep her out of it. These are actually uh, uh, pig pellets. They're pellets for the pigs.
pig, or pig feed. We still haven't gotten down to getting any chicken feed. We'll probably do that today. These uh, kabir are better foragers than what you would think for a, a primarily meat bird. Uh, but they are dual purpose. They are uh, made, they are bred to uh, lay as well. And they do, they are prolific layers for a brown egg layer. Especially one with such a large body mass. And they lay really well. I'm, I'm well pleased. I'll have to come in every night, of course, and run these back in to the pen uh, for their safety. I'm letting the smaller ones mingle with the larger. Hopefully the, the, the younger ones will have fleet feet and won't get beat up too badly by the bigger ones. But they as well need to get out and do a little scratching and running around. It's just better all around for them. It's better for their health. Uh, they get some enzymes and things in their craw and their digestive system, and they get they get some uh, chickens will uh, because they peck in the dirt. They'll you know, occasionally eat a small pebble, a small rock, and it will stay in their craw. The craw is uh, it's uh, basically their their stomach. It uh, it's a pretty strong muscle and it's got a really tough lining inside of it and they'll basically they they keep the stones in their craw somehow uh, they stay in there and they they'll grind their feed uh, using those little stones it's uh, it's kind of a one of nature's little miracles I don't know exactly how they do it because you can't see inside a chicken stomach uh, but on the farm, whenever we uh, would slaughter one, you would always find stones in their craw. And I have since heard that, uh, that they keep those stones in there to grind their food. Well, I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. We've got other things to do rather than stand here and hold this camera. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment share and subscribe.